Alright, so we've been hiking for about an hour 30 minutes now. Sun's just starting to rise. It's just the dawn light. It's me, my brother, and my dad. My brother and I have buck tags, and my dad has an antlerless tag. So we are headed to where my dad shot his buck last weekend. And so today my plan is just a glass. Today should be a good day. Lots of deer should be moving. Wish me luck. It's cold, man. <laughs> it's super cold. Well, looks like my brother shot a little buck. He's not too far from me, so I'm gonna go take a look and just get a little bit of footage for you guys. And uh, after that, maybe process the deer real quick, get it ready to go, and then resume our hunts. And then later, we'll just come back and pick up the meat. And... Ow! <laughs> Dang. All right, I need to get up this little face with a bunch of deadfall and my brother should just be up there oh man I, my legs are sore so I can't really hike today that's why I just wanted to sit in class but we'll go take a look got into the road on top it should be right behind this little corner over here I got that hill, no joke. What then? So the buck is dead right here. Last week, my dad shot the buck right over here. He died right on this road down here. So we're gonna take this buck and drag it down there. Make the pack out a little closer for us. Alright, you made it right here. I see this. I'm gonna scrap it. This is my dad's deer from last weekend. Dad, the buck, like 10 yards from it. Bug down.
Alright. So, my brother and my dad, they're gonna basically finish, finish up with the, the deer. And so, I'm gonna go and try to kill my buck. And we'll see if we can make it a double or a triple today. So my brother's tagged out, got one of the one of the buck tags done today. So I still have my buck tag and my dad still has his antlerless tag. So congrats to my brother. So I'm gonna go back to this morning where I was, where I was blasting that big old open spot. We'll see if I can blast a buck. You guys see that? That thing looks like a good den. Hopefully. Walking past it doesn't provoke a bear to charge me. Alright, so I just posted my little photo on Instagram. So those of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know how, how our hunt's going so far. I'm gonna eat some breakfast real quick. I haven't ate anything all day. I'm gonna eat a banana and eat my food and just stay here and try to turn up a deer. It's been a good day successful already so I, st I still want to shoot a buck trust me I still do but right now I'm at the point where even if we don't notch another tag I feel pretty satisfied because uh, everybody in the family has has notched the tag we'll start in a chronological order I notched my my elk tag my archery elk tag in Washington back in September then we fast forward to earlier i don't know if it's late october or early november but my brother down in oregon tagged out on his first black tail buck and the last weekend my dad tagged out on his white tail buck and today my brother tagged out on his white tail buck so everybody's got to pull the trigger so anything after is just a bonus now so we'll see i might turn up a big buck if i turn him up on that side of the hill we're gonna have to do some hiking before we pull the trigger but that's the easy part
down to a creek. We hiked far today. The whole time we were here, we saw one deer. I think it was a buck, but he was too timid. Gonna head up this mountain, and it's a long way up the mountain. Pack up and pack out. Packs on, packing out, and it is prime time for deer activity to peak again. So we're gonna slowly work our way back and see if we can knock another one down on our way back to the car. This is probably the most exhausted I've been throughout this entire season. The miles were put on today. I can just, that's all I can say. <laughs> He's going down. Shot, man. Shot, man. You just saw me. down, baby. <laughs> Dough down. Dude, I knew it. This morning. I saw the does over here, they ran right into that little thing, this thing down here, my dad just shot. Alright, let's range that, let's see how far that is. I don't know if I got that on video, but I didn't, I didn't know where the deal was. 200 yards! Alright, we got a deer down. So, we're, we're packing out one deer, we're not even... We're not even close to the car, so we're gonna have oh. we're gonna have heavy, heavy packs. Dang, that thing is way down there. I told you we'd never give up. All right, so we gotta unload the pack, the meat from my brother's buck. We're gonna go down there, and go process the dough, and carry her meat up. And then once we're done with that, we'll put everything in and hike one trip out. Alright, we're leaving all our stuff here and <laughs> we pulled the double guys. I was like we might pull a double or a triple. We can still pull a triple. I'm gonna race down there. You guys can see. You guys can see like it's the the shade is starting to settle down. Oh taking out the meat from my bag it makes me feel like I can fly. But we're gonna go down there. Let's go check her out. Dough down, baby. Special permit field. Yeah, blood. Ooh, that's a long blood. Oh, you guys see that? This is where the deer was standing right here. Boom, she kicked. You guys saw her kick. There she goes. Oh man, that looks so freaking. Ooh, look at this! See this? Look at the Look at the Look at her blood trail, man. Gonna get that there. Yeah. Go down, baby. Mm. Mm. Crazy blood trail. Wow. Her hands are like. Oh, she looked way bigger. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that'll Good job, Dad. <laughs> shot, man. Wow. Oh, two for two. Dough down, baby. 
My dad has filled both his deer tags this year. I've yet to fill one, but this was just a bonus meat in the freezer deer. So we're happy to have her. We're gonna drag her up the hill so we can get some last, last minute photos. Pulled a double today, guys. All glory to God, man. He, shoot, we hiked so far today. It's crazy, guys. <laughs> It's small, but yeah. That was freaking burned. Shot her from up there, way up there. Notching the second deer tag. Second deer tag, I'm noshed. Hard work starts now. So I packed up my gun and you guys can see it's getting dark. So got the, we did the dope pretty fast. So kind of go back up there and uh, we got to add in the buck meat. Uh, our stuff is right on that hill up here. So it's not too far. We were up at this road, shot her right down here. So let's get up and let's get going. Ah, uh, don't meet. Alright. This is the buck meat going right into the main pocket. <sighs> because his meat's already cooled down. So, main pocket. Rain jacket, right in here. Insulation jacket, right in here. <sighs> I'm gonna wear a sweater to save space, even though I don't want to. Backup sweater right in here. All right, so blood is my backpack has blood stains, so I need to unpack this. I'm gonna zip this main pocket up right in here. All right, so it's zipped up. Let's zip up this main pocket. So the Badlands clutch, it has this option where you can put extra meat right here and you just fold it up and you just clip it in. That's exactly what I'm doing. But uh, first things first, I gotta clean up the plastic that we used. I also put it right here. And then the dough meat, oh, right here on top. And then cover this thing up with this orange flap. Um, okay, I definitely need to loosen up some uh, string right here. And I'll clip this on. Okay, there we go. I'll clip on this side. Clip. There we go. So you guys can see, it's kind of strapped like that. So the vertical part is good, but now we need to do the side, the side straps. So we extend the strings or these whatever things, and you just clip it across each other. And you don't want to tighten it yet. You want to just do all three before you uh, tighten it. So here's my middle strap clip right in here and then I need to do the top strap extend this all right so now that you have all three straps now you want to tighten them so I'll just pull this one the second one 
<sighs> tying up like that and I'll do the third one third one strapped up like that and now you have the meat tight to your pack so you're not wobbling everywhere wobbling is the worst when you're, you're carrying heavy stuff now I need to put the tripod in here which you're set up on I'm gonna slide this tripod right into one of the bat wing pockets if it will go here there we go there we go Whew. this looks heavy this is probably my heaviest pack of the year but I need to get a quick drink of water real quick all right guys, you guys can see it's getting dark. So I just showed you guys uh, kind of how I'm gonna pack this thing out. So the clutch is loaded, all three of our packs are heavy and we have like five, five, six miles to go. So I'm just gonna end it here cause I don't wanna record anything else. Uh, if I'm not tired, I'll record when we get to the car, but don't bet on it. If not, then I'll see you guys in the next video, which is my butt hunt tomorrow.